Trailer update number four. I'm uh, dealing with the back section of uh, floor that was rotten in the corner. Uh, I pulled uh, the back end of the floor off um, after I scraped all the lino. I uh, realized that um, there was a seam in the floor where the sheet, the, la the rearmost sheet of plywood ended and the new one uh, begins here. So I pulled this entire back section off. It's sitting right there. Actually, most of it is is really good, except for oh, there's a little bit of uh, rot in the corner there, and a little bit more down there. That was essentially all the damage there was. And uh, accordingly, you can see the rot here and the rot there. Um, you can see the steel membrane. The steel membrane is here. There's a little bit of corrosion on it. Um, especially the back end where rocks hit the steel membrane. There are a few pinholes, but more significantly, more significantly from uh, staples uh, that were driven through from underneath into the wood. Uh, the back piece of wood is uh, almost in really good shape. Um, more significantly, I'd like to talk about uh, the, the design of the floor. What we have here is two by two pieces running lengthwise along the trailer and actually uh, disappears under that sheet of plywood over there and about, about every 16 inches here we have we have one of those and then on the corners we have uh, a piece of two by four running the length of the trailer uh, actually up to the wheel wells that's where it must stop so with respect to the load-bearing aspects of this floor, let's keep in mind that the entire weight of the trailer, almost, of at least of the top part, comes down the walls. Everything is suspended from the ceiling or the walls. So the walls are essentially what transmit the load into the floor. Let's look at this design. First of all, I do not understand why it is only two inches thick. Why wouldn't you take a two by four and instead of running it laying flat like that, right? This is where it is not load bearing, not it would be kind of more like a spring here. This way up, upright like that, it would be more like a member. So why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you run a floor or floor members crosswise like this so they sit on the main frame of the trailer which is right here and then transfer the load of the walls into the main frame? Hmm. Well, I honestly don't know. Uh, all that is carrying the weight of the walls are these little angle pieces that are welded to the main frame. Now, even here you can spot a problem very easily, and that is that they end on the wall of the main frame beam here. Now, the wall is actually a weak point in the in the beam. It would be the lower base here, or, or where the metal bends over 90 degrees. That would be a strong point in, the, in that frame. So why wouldn't you bring this down and actually let it end right here? So this uh, loading here, you know, as you put, the, as you put uh, a force onto the end of this little piece of metal, you know, the force will be transmitted right into the wall which of course bends and there is another point here where you can see where this becomes a problem right here look at this see that stress fracture right here that's exactly what I'm talking about if this had come down all the way to the to the bottom edge of this beam we wouldn't have it So yeah, a little bit of an issue. Um, I'm really tempted to address it, but what I'm thinking I'm going to do 
is uh, to put a two by four in the back here. Just just re take this uh, take this two by two piece out here. Put a two by four down like this. You know, cut these a little bit shorter. Shorten these so the two by four fits in place of the two by two. And put the new piece of floor on plywood. And then on top of that, run another piece of two by four sitting on top of the floor and then fastened by screws and glue from the back. That will give a, give the rear end of the of the floor a really strong member uh, to carry some weight. But I don't know. I don't know how much it really improves this. Um, especially since uh, since the rear wall, once it's back in place, will uh, um, strengthen uh, strengthen the uh, framing of the trailer in the back here quite a bit. So anyway, it is it is really perplexing how these floors are laid out. You know, this is uh, essentially see here in the in the back where there are uh, two by two cross pieces in between. Uh, between those two here back here there is none so there is really no load carrying aspect no load carrying aspect to that to that floor at all I would have if I would have designed a trailer I would have uh, kind of let the main frame of the trailer and the floor work in concert to uh, carry the weight of the of the of the trailer. I I'm just a little bit astonished here. Uh, there there is there is only a very very small uh, advantage in weight, I would think, and the advantage in weight reduction of building a floor like this does not outweigh the uh, structural aspects of doing it differently I can't see how so anyway the next update is going to be uh, well having this wall finished uh, having the floor replaced and then we'll move over to the front of the trailer and work on it so thanks for watching bye now